Hey everybody, I'm going to make a sheet pan meal. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just kind of overcast today and I'm hoping that you can see okay, but I'm going to make a sheet pan meal that I think is going to be really delicious. I don't make a lot of these, but um, I don't know why because I think that they are one of the best things you can do as far as trying to um, get your meal prepared. But anyway, let me take you down. When I say get your meal prepared, I mean when you're trying to get a quick meal prepared. So here is the sheet pan. It's always good to cover it in something. I have this silicone mat that I really, really love. But what I'm going to use as far as vegetables are potatoes, onions, and carrots. And so I went ahead and got those prepared. And I'm gonna spread those out. Try to get them mixed around a little bit. I really love the flavor of carrots that have been cooked in seasoning. So now we have um, our vegetables and I'm gonna sprinkle some olive oil on them. And then to that, I'm going to use this, I've used it several times in videos with you and I absolutely love the roast vegetables and fry seasoning. And I got this at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And when they have it, I always pick it up because uh, you never know when they're gonna have it. And it's just a really good seasoning. And I like a lot because you know I like my stuff heavily seasoned. So now what I'm gonna do is just kinda get these vegetables mixed up with the olive oil and the seasoning. And you use whatever seasoning that you like, what your family likes and that's the way that you will enjoy it best so I've got these pretty well covered and so now what I'm gonna do is put hamburger so part of the hamburger this is all pre-patted burgers. This is a plant-based protein burger. My daughter got these and the meat that you saw me put in the chili uh, when she was couponing. And the meat in the chili was delicious. So I'm hoping for the same thing with it. But uh, it's plant-based. And... I needed to use it up. So I think this would be a really good way to do it. So it looks pretty much like a hamburger and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna lay it just right on top of vegetables. And I have one more pack of it. And if you don't use coupons, if you use stuff like Ibotta, I believe she got this free just using the Ibotta app. I 
I probably should have already had this all cut and everything. Okay, that's that. Now, I have these hamburgers that were marked down. And I'm going to finish by putting them on. And there's four burgers. And I'm going to cut these like in thirds. And what you could do is, uh, after it cooks, if you really wanted to, you could uh, just make these, you know, take the meat off and make it into a hamburger if you didn't want to eat it this way. But those burgers are pretty big. And so I just thought this would be one way of doing it. So now I have all my hamburger meat on here. Let me rinse my hands. And I can't find my towel. So anyway, I have this hamburger deluxe seasoning mix. I got it at, um, you know, it's always in my mind till I have to say it and then I can't uh, say it. Um, it's not the Sporting Good Academy. It's the uh, Sports Academy, I think it's called. That's where I got this. I think you can get it at Walmart too. But it's the Hamburger Deluxe. And I'm not just getting it on the burgers. I'm getting it on the vegetables too. So, I'm just seasoning that up. It's all ready. I'm going to put it in the oven uh, on 400 degrees. And I'm going to let it cook 45 minutes or so. Now, this is a lot of food for my family. Over here is the chili I'm cooking also. So, what I may do is... Um, it's probably about three meals. Just make it, put it in three containers and maybe freeze it or uh, freeze two and do one for tomorrow to eat or something like that. But I needed to go ahead and use up this meat. So this seemed like a good way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cook. And when it's done, we'll be back and give it a try. The sheet pan meal is done and it smells so good. And I'm going to show it to you and then we're going to give it a try. So here is what it looks like. 
and I want to try some of the first meat that I put in. I just, the plant-based meat, I just want to see what that uh, tastes like. And I'm not real hungry right now. This is Sunday. And I got some Popeyes for lunch, so I'm not that hungry. But here's what it looks like. And I will give it a try. I'm gonna try it with some carrot. And I know that's not a big bite, but I am just really not hungry. Oh yeah, I love those flavors. That is really, really good in that plant-based meat is really good. Uh, I don't think it would be for everybody, but um, I like it okay. Honestly, <coughs> if, <coughs> if I had the plant-based uh, laying in front of me and regular uh, ground beef in front of me, I would probably go for the ground beef, but for vegetarians and people who don't like meat, it's good. So I'm going to really, <coughs> excuse me, love the vegetables in this. In my older age, I have really come to love vegetables. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you give this a try. Um, Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.